Back to the Annapolis Boat Show with Mr. Clean. Um, I've got some guys that have become friends over the past year. I raced against them a little bit and um, seen their boat uh, still still ticking along and getting new owners and growing new fleets. Um, this is Brian Bennett, the designer of the Viper 640. Paul Young, the builder of the Viper 640. Um, after now having personally sailed every one of the 20s, including the Open 5.7, the Melgus 20, the Laser, the, uh, the Viper, and the K6, um, I can now actually pronounce the Viper as my favorite. Okay, and I and, and I couldn't say that before. I've I've, I've always said I really liked it, but now yeah. I've been on all of them. They all have their positives. The Melgus was a great little boat today. We had a good time. The Open is a, is a, is a good boat. The Laser not so much, but um, the Viper is by far so far the 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 best all around boat that I've sailed on, and the fastest of all of these, the cleanest as well, um, and it's almost the cheapest. So, um, again, you know, kudos for, for getting behind, for designing and getting behind this spectacular boat. We love them. Now comes the more difficult part, which is how do you ensure that the rest of the world knows this? How do you ensure that in the United States the momentum keeps growing and you can expand beyond the three or four, you know, fleets that you guys already have going? Um, talk to me about what you guys have, have recently started up. Brian? Uh, starting next month, Alan, we're going to be uh, opening a, a warehouse service facility in Hampton, in Virginia, and boats will ship in, the one-off sales will be shipped into Hampton, and boats will be prepped and serviced from there. Um, the commitment to fleet uh, organizations is that we'll ship boats right to yacht clubs, and the boats will be unloaded there, prepped, and, and any new buyers will be given what we're calling Viper University, the full training program, half day of, of coaching and sailing to get them get them up to speed. And you'll go you'll you'll go to them. I'll go to them and prep the boats personally and uh, make sure they have that initial learning curve to to familiarise them fully with the boat. Right on, and that starts up in a month. It starts in a month. So what does your winter schedule look like uh, uh, for the Viper? Uh, once the shop is set up, we'll, we'll spend. Tyler Moore's involved. Tyler is working with has been working with Paul on the 505 project for a number of years. Once the shop is in place, uh, Paul and I are going to get together in England and look at uh, some some uh, additional moulding uh, for the Viper and uh, just to fill the, the demand requirements that we've seen. And uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to sell boats. Uh, you know, Lake Lanier has, has been a hotbed of activity. Uh, some effort put in there a month ago is producing some results. And uh, likewise in Austin, Texas, we're seeing, a, seeing some development of, of fleet activity. And uh, you know, occasional sales in other parts of the country as well. So we need to service those initial, that, that next batch of sales, which will probably be, I would say, eight to ten boats initially. And, and we'll grow from there as, as these boats are delivered. I think um, I think we talked a little bit, Paul, about how in this country anyway, and I think the UK is going is, is already following um, the move. Even before this crisis came in, has been toward smaller, simpler, lighter boats, cheaper to campaign, less crew. Um, what do you think that's going to? How, how will you transform or transfer that fact into more sales for the Viper? I mean, it's, it's undoubtedly a fact that people are going for smaller boats. Um, in a financial crisis notwithstanding, people are actually very time-starved. And the fact that you can jump into a boat like this, you can rig it, you can go sailing, you can do two or three races, you can come back in, and you spend two three hours of your life, not two three days of your life to do that, is very attractive to people. The secondary benefits are they're a lot less expensive to run and own, and, and the whole ownership proposition, I wouldn't say it's getting back to dinghies, but it's, it's having the fun of dinghies, but in a decent-sized boat. And I think a lot of people are up for that. Um, it just fits with modern day living. From our point of view, we, we've always made small boats, so if you like, we're only capitalizing on the boom that currently exists. We're very pleased to, uh, to have Brian on board with us. Uh, we're very aware that, the, that we've relied on the class association, who are a very great country guys, and they've put their all into it, but you know, we do need to move up to the next level. Um, Tyler in Hampton is a former North American champion in the Fiverr. We've worked with him for a number of years, a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's a uh, very much on board with this project. We have a number of other potential boats that um, there is demand for over here that we're already fielding demand for, so we think that in the longer run we can expand it up anyway. And uh, we're very excited to be taking this next step. It's, it's great. Well, back to the Viper. Um, 
what uh, what what are the events that that Viper owners around the country might want to hitch their boat up to the truck and and take a ride for this coming six months? What are the big ones? Uh, the big push really is the the next push will be the Southern Circuit. You know, focusing on Charleston next year, um, the Annapolis Nude next year, uh, St. Pete Nude, which is of course a midwinter regatta. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be spending some some time in the South both servicing and getting the, the new southern owners up to speed. Um, there's a few boats in Pensacola and that fleet area will develop. Uh, so the, the initial the initial focus is to get these, these new guys up to speed and and develop a southern circuit, um, you know, primarily in uh, the Georgia, um, you know, Florida Panhandle, uh, Lake Lanier, you know, Atlanta area. That's where and the hotbed of And up, is. up to Charleston and maybe southern North exactly. Carolina. All right. Well, look, uh, you got a place to stay anytime you want to come see Charleston. We got a, we got a bed for you and even a car. Thanks. All right. Man. So uh, we, we'd love to see you and bring them bring anytime you want. We love the boats. We uh, certainly expect to see hopefully 20 boats in Charleston this year. Um, we're gonna we're not gonna write that down just yet, but we really hope to see that. You had what 12, 10, 12 last year. Yeah. Um, so we, we'd love to see 20 on the harbor and yeah. doable. I reckon they're, yeah. they're about I, about as ideal as you get for for, for our, our kind of flat water. So um, we wish you luck and and uh, keep at it. We love the boat. Thanks, Al. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.